Hi everyone, in this video I will be talking about how to insert a big amount of data into Oracle from Java. The first entry in the list uh, is the JDBC update. This is directly from Java and this is the normal insert doing one by one. Then for the second and the third we are calling an Oracle store procedure passing a custom type and finally we have the JDBC batch update for doing uh, bulk insert into Oracle. So we are inserting and passing many rows at a time to Oracle. I will explain one by one of these methods. In regards to the project from the database side and also from Java, uh, the initial section of it is the table that we are going to use. So this is the table, uh, it's person, and then we have just five, six columns in it. So we have the name, last name, the ID number, age, country, and salary. Salary. So it, it, it doesn't matter the data. We, we just want to play with the performance when doing insert. And we don't have any index or similar in this table. It's just a simple table with these columns. So let's start with the basics. Uh, in this case, in regards to the environment, I'm working with Eclipse IDE. And also I'm using Java 8 uh, on the database side. Uh, I'm working with Oracle 19. And also I have been playing with SQL developer for this video. Then from Java, the project is really simple as well. So I just created four classes with one main method on it. And we are calling uh, different methods to execute insert. So each of these class says are used to call a method uh, to do insert before of the before of that we are just deleting everything from the person table so that's basically the project and in this project i do have a csv file i read from this file we have uh, more than 100,000 lines here then using that uh, list of records i call the insert Let's start with the first method. So this is the normal Java insert. And this is really common uh, when we are doing single insert or we are just inserting an, a small amount of records. So basically I, I will explain the format of this class and it will be the same for all the remaining classes. Uh, I'll start by just getting the connection. I need the driver, then I get the connection I created a simple uh, schema in the Oracle database, example schema, examples schema, sorry. And then I read the file, the people.csv file with more than 100,000 lines. So this is a virtual machine. That's why I, I am just using uh, that amount of lines, but it would be great to, to try it with more than 1 million. Then uh, before starting the measurement and the execution, I just uh, I just remove everything from the table. Uh, after that, I have a timer here, and I just stop it at, after calling the save method using Java update, and I just print that out. So let's go into the method in order to explain it. In this people variable, we have the list of people that we read from the CSV file. And then we are just passing the connection. So let's get in there. And this is the most simple way of doing insert, I think, from Java. It's basically we create the SQL string and then I'm just going one by one through the people list. I open up prepare statement using try with resources because in this way, I don't need to close the statement. It is closed automatically. Then I just populate the values in the prepare statement and I execute the update. So this is executed one by one. Here I execute the update. Then I go to the next one and I execute the update. So it is calling Oracle as many times as records you have in the CSV file. So in terms of network, this is really time consuming. Let's try it and let's start capturing uh, the times. I'll, I'll run this as a, as a Java application. 
and let's see if it, if it takes too long I will just uh, crop the video because it, it will be taking more than one minute so we got the result and as you can see it took more than one minute and that's why we should avoid using this method for doing insert in Java when we have a big amount of data so if I go to the database just to confirm the records are in the table so I can do a select count from this table and that's the amount of records that we have so it worked now let's try the second method in this case I need to start by explaining a couple of topics uh, and because we are not doing the insert directly from Java we are passing the values to Oracle and then we are executing insert from Oracle but this is not as simple as just calling update from Java we need to pass the rows from Java to Oracle but there is no way for us to pass a row type from Java to Oracle in order to achieve that we need to create a custom type in this case I'm creating a person T type and this is basically the same as the row type but it was created by me so it represents one row of the person table then I want to pass a list of person so for doing that I need to create a list and this is really simple I just need to create a, a personal list T and it is table of person T so this person T is the type that we just created and then we create we create the list once we have that this is something that we can send from Java and this is something that Java can understand so let's go into the procedure this is a simple procedure we have the list of person and then we are just doing insert into the person table with the values that we are receiving one by one from Java side, the main method is exactly the same, but we are calling a different method. In this case, the save Oracle using for. So let's get in there. In this case, I need to define the stored procedure that I'm calling. In this case, it is save people serial, as you saw before. So now I'm just preparing the statement, and here I'm defining the descriptor, the stroke descriptor, using the type that I want this is the root type in this case person t I just create a, an object array uh, this is a stroke type and the size of the list then going by one, one by one through the list of uh, of the people the people list and I'm just populating uh, creating the params and then I'm just creating the struct and I'm collecting all the structs in this uh, struct array after that I'm just creating the personal list T the descriptor similar to this one but in this case the list since we are creating a list I'm passing the descriptor the description and also the struct array so it is creating an oracle this is just an array an oracle array and finally I pass that to the statement I execute it and I just commit so I want you to notice in this case we are using for in the store procedure later we are going to use for all so let me execute it and also notice that this is a serial process going one by one and we can customize it for example using a parallel or multi-trading from Java in case if we want even more performance but you will notice that this is really good and this is just the starting point so let's run it as Java application and we should get it soon let me see let's see the last method using Java update took more than one minute in this case it took six seconds so I, I will display I will show you the results at the end it took six seconds if we go to Java let's just check 
the table and the data is in there. So it worked. For the third method, it is pretty similar to the previous one related uh, with for loop from Oracle. But in this case, let's make a small change. Instead of using for, let's just replace it with for all. So what is basically, what is the difference between these two? When we use for all in Oracle, if we use it correctly, it will execute parallel insert in this case, because that's the body of this method. So in this case, instead of doing the insert serialized, it will be executing the inserts in parallel. That's, and that's basically all the difference between the previous one and this one. But let's check the results. So if, if I go uh, to the Java site, the method is exactly the same. We have person T and we have person list T. It, it is all the same because we are calling just a different method with the same params. So let me run it. I will clean, clear the console and I will run it. So it took three seconds before when I was preparing the video, it was taking two seconds, but three seconds, it's good. It's half of the previous execution time of the normal for loop. Now let's check the last method. And this one is from Java directly. In this case, we are not using any Oracle procedure or similar. So this one, the performance of this one is really good. I was surprised when I was testing it and benchmarking it. So in general, uh, we are doing the same. Then let's go into the say Java using batch. And basically here we create the insert that we are going to do. Then we just go one by one through the list and we assign the values to the prepare statement. After adding the value, we just uh, add the, the, this add batch. We just set it to add batch and then we do clear params and we go with the next one. At the end, it is just as simple as executing batch. So let's execute it and let's check the results. So it is taking two seconds almost the same as the Oracle insert using for all. Let's go into the database just to check that the data is there. I mean, we always see this number because we are always inserting the same amount, the same number of rows. And also because I'm always deleting the records from this table before calling the procedure. In case of error, we should see it in the UI. Just to summarize the results, uh, this is what we got. So starting with the JDBC update, it took more than one minute. And then uh, using the Oracle uh, custom types with restored procedures, uh, it took six seconds with the normal four, and it took three seconds for uh, the same store procedure, but in this case using it for all. Finally, uh, for uh, in this case, the winner with the JDBC batch, uh, it took only two seconds. So in this case, this at least with the methods that we tried, this is the best method when doing insert from Java. The performance is really good and also it is really easy to maintain. But there are situations and also there are uh, requirements when you may need to use or pass values from Java to Oracle. So point number two and three are good methods if, if if you need to do something like that in now or in the future. So please let me know if you have or you know any other method for doing insert from Java and methods for achieving really good performance when inserting a big amount of data. In this case, I just tried with more than 100,000, but if you have a best solution please leave it in the comments. It will be great to, to try it. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next videos.